Hey YouTube, Uranium Man here. You have to pardon me, I have a little bit of a cold coming on. I want to show you these neat items I picked up. This is a pair of cold cathode UV lights. Uh, these are commonly used to mod out computer cases. You know, the UV ones in particular are one for people who have fluorescent uh, cooling fluids or paint or uh, components inside the computers, like they make little jackets for uh, the cords and such. However, I got mine to light up my uh, display case I use for my uranium and cadmium glass, so I'll show you the results uh, once I'm done with getting those installed in there at the end of the video. What I want to show uh, you guys with this is a comparison between my long wave fluorescent tube black light and the cold cathodes. Cold cathode technology has been around for a long time. It's the same type of technology that's used in neon lights, which I'm sure uh, any of you are familiar with. Just go to a local bar and look at the beer signs in the windows and you would see neon, and then it's cold cathode. Uh, it's very similar to fluorescent light technology, and it appears to have an output in a similar range. So I have a small selection of items I've used in some of my other UV comparison videos here. So let's shine the UV light on them first, or the uh, fluorescent bulb on them first. All right. Got a uranium glass goblet, cadmium glass vase, and a little blue uh, manganese goblet. And this one in particular is, uh, I know only reacts under true long wave light and doesn't respond to LED lights. But I have a, a uranium based mineral on the end, anhydrous something or other. A small chunk of wernerite. And this one on the end is willemite which is a zinc and manganese based mineral and that one I know the green only comes out in true long wave light so you can see this is a true long wave light I'm using with the fluorescent lamp let's see what the cold cathode looks like oh one more thing don't forget about black light poster Rah. here's cold cathode and again we're not measuring uh, output of light just measuring the, the reaction as you can see the bulb is quite dim looking. In fact, the Amazon reviewers, uh, some of them complained about how dim the bulb appeared to be. But that is because it appears that most of the light output is in the long wave part of the spectrum and thus is beyond what the human eye can detect. But as you can see, these fluorescent materials are picking up that light quite nicely. In fact, for anybody who wants to display a black light poster, I think I'm going to have to recommend the cold cathode. As I imagine, you just stick one of these at the top of the poster and shine it down on top of it. It looked pretty awesome, and it's much less obtrusive than a uh, large fluorescent bulb fixture. And there's one caveat I'd like to point out. I you know, doubt you can see any of it here. And since these are made for the inside of a computer case, they do have the little four-pin uh, connectors, like you'd uh, hook up a hard drive. Or, other, uh, or a fan to, so I need to buy a special uh, inverter to get the proper power source, power wattage and voltage going to these little buggers. But uh, since I have that, I'm going to go mount these in my glass display case right now. Alright, here she is. Got the cold cathode installed. should point out that I have the top fluorescent bulbs, the top, at the very bottom down here, especially since this bottom one is uh, isolated from the others. I got the cold cathodes there in the middle. There we go. Let's back up, back up, back up. I'm on focus. So look at that. I can't even back up far enough to see the entire thing on the camera. Use your imagination that's standing upright. Uranium, cadmium glass all glowing very nicely. That looks a lot better than it did with the LEDs in it. Cold cathode, I highly recommend it. They can be smaller and much more compact than fluorescent long wave lighting. Use up a lot more power. They're good for limited spaces and displays where you don't want to throw 
UV light all the way across the room. Hope this was informative. And uh, you guys have a good day.